Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, I know, I'm not in the South Island with Dean. I'm actually in the North Island with a delicious beer. And the reason for that is technical issues. So I'll bring you up to speed. I've got about four or five more videos of this South Island trip to post. But I didn't realize until I started editing this video that the camera I was using on that trip started to crap out. The external microphone port, I think, was basically on its way out and it turns out that once I got home and I went through this footage that from about this video onwards I have real sound issues on my main camera so any piece I did to camera like this has either no sound or just really bad sound occasionally for some reason it would work and I'd be able to do something with the footage but I'm gonna have to get creative guys so I'll just do my best to kind of keep the story rolling as best I can without making it seem too weird. But while I've got you, it does give me a chance to give a huge shout out to those of you on my Patreon. Guys, you're awesome. Thank you so much for sticking with me and just going that little bit further to kind of help support this channel and help me do what I do. You know, cameras break, things go wrong, GoPros die and need replacing, and none of that stuff is cheap. And I put every cent I earn, beg, borrow, and steal straight back into this channel and it still doesn't really cover it. So any, any little extra help from you guys goes a goes a long long way so if there's anyone else out there that you know watches these videos on a weekly basis and enjoys the content I put out and wants to go that little bit further to kind of help me keep improving keep the content coming and keep doing bigger and better things the link to my patreon is in the description below if you went over there and jumped on board I'd be uh, super grateful it'd be really awesome and like I say everything that comes from that goes straight back into this channel and uh, is hugely helpful so big love to you guys Thank you so much, I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's brought you guys up to speed over what's happening over the next couple of videos. Let's go for a fish, cheers. Okay, so we're an hour and 20 minutes-ish walking downstream and it looks like it goes into a gorge here. So this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna chill out, we're gonna have something to eat, something to drink, tackle up, and then we'll slowly start to fish our way up. We actually saw one fish on the way downstream that we watched actually, we crossed above it and then we saw it and then we watched it for a bit and then we actually watched it spook from our scent, which was pretty interesting to see. That's definitely a thing. All right, drink. Food, tackle up. All right, get ready. Get ready, Eddie. Shout out to Golden Trout Lanyards, best lanyards in the biz. All right, I've got a name for this rod, Popeye, because it's olive. You get where I'm going with that. This boom, is the, boom. <laughs> this is the Orvis Helios 3F in a five weight. All right, we're gonna chuck a Mirage L T size two reel on that guy. And then, I think we all know what line's on here. Good lines. Great lines. You liking it, eh? Yeah. Digging it. Dean's liking his new line. Anyway, the line we're talking about is the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth Oi 5 weight line. And on the end of that, we've got a 7 foot floating poly leader, just a loop to loop connection on that bad boy. Down to a tippet ring, and then we've got a leader built off of that. Now, I think from yesterday, I've got about 8 feet of 3x down to about four feet of 4x and that'll be about right for today as well I reckon so I'll just chuck a transport fly on that and then we'll see what happens when we find a fish all right tag ends in the hip pack Got a little gray fly on there just for you know just for now and then we're good to go
so we found a fish on the other side way over there <clears throat> Uh, Dean's up first today, so he's gone across. He's changing over to a dry dropper, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll have a crack. Uh, it's a pretty, oh yeah, just, this fish is just all over the place. I think it's a very probable fish. It's a rainbow, I reckon, just by the way it's acting. Alex's prediction is one good drift. Hook up. Beautiful piece of water. Oh, that's nice. Dean's over on the other side. So we've got both both edges covered. All right, quite a lot of this water. I'm having to go way out to the side like this and kind of almost look back in against that backdrop over there. Uh, otherwise, it's just too glary. Can't see anything. Quite tough, we've covered fair bit of good water now since Dean's fish I haven't seen anything No, I can still see him. That's difficult. Ah, where'd he go? No, it wasn't my fly. Ooh, we came up but I think it was. I don't know. I think so. Yep. Yep. Be. Yeah, yeah, he is. Definitely a brown. That's a good fish, yeah. Okay, I think we calmed down a little bit now after that blistering run downstream. We've got some rapage going on after all that jumping around stuff. Dude. We're good in the edge there. It was all right. Come on, dude. Let's 
can't give him any more pressure. Dude. Come on. Chill, buddy. Chill, buddy. Chill, buddy. Oh. Nice one, Dink. Good job, mate. Nice net job, net job guy. Oh, these are thick. Yeah. Oh, wicked fish. That's nice. absolutely beautiful. Real nice. There we go. <laughs> the fish whisperer. Cheers, man. Okay, sweet. So pretty happy about that. That was a really tough place to catch a fish from. Ended up using uh, one of my buddy Dave's uh, rag flies. Dave, shout out to you, buddy. That, uh, that rag fly of yours is doing you proud, mate. Uh, and then I did uh, had to go two massive split shot just to get anywhere close to the fish, just because of where he was sat. But a stunning fish. The colours, the markings, oh, brilliant. Stoked about that. So we're both on the board, pretty much. Anything else now is just a big old bonus. Yeah, feels like maybe we might be finding some fish now coming out. Maybe they're just coming out into the feed. Maybe we're just coming into a section where there is fish. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. Anyway, check out this beautiful valley. Not a bad place to spend a day. Up to that, see that rock up there? Mm-hmm. You're just in frame. Just go another step. Roger. That's good, I like it. Yep. It's coming down and coming through. Right. I'm only short. Just gonna go away out to the right to start with. Just for length. Because you won't line shadow on you. <laughs> We're pretty good, I reckon. It's not his right, but he might eat it. Yeah, he might lunch, yeah, we'll see what happens. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. One, yeah. two. Nice one, buddy. Eh? That was about as lazy as you could get, isn't it? Yeah, you gotta have a lazy strike, eh? Even did my out, out loud count. <laughs> I like the count. I just wouldn't probably get down the log. 
Here we got. Used to be a big fish. No, but I mean, it used to be big. Like, you've got a big old head. And I'm just fighting him against the current here. Here we go, buddy. Get that head up. Coming towards you. Nice. Nice one, man. First one on a dry. Awesome. She's got 10 feet in front of us. Just wanted to move up. Nice. Okay, on a river full of rainbows, brown trout number two. So yeah, obviously used to be a much better fish, big head, bit snaky, a bit old, but still super cool and a great eat. Like super slow motion on the edge there, just lazy, lazy, lazy eat. Had a, a couple of strikes that have been too quick on the dry fly, so I really made sure to just slow things down, wait for that two count and then lift, not get too excited and carried away. Uh, okay, so we're gonna carry on looking. Dean's up. This is pretty cool. It's, it's a little kind of swimming pool. Makes me want to go in there and swim around. That's pretty wicked. It's like a hot pool. It isn't hot, it's a cold pool. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. I don't know why, I really like, just really like that pool. Nice. He shot forward for that, didn't he? No, oh, nice fish, man. Let's see if I can walk him back upstream. Thank you, man. Man, that fish was uh, feisty. Uh, dragged me all the way over here and Dean as well. He didn't want to come and get his butt wet, but uh, <laughs> he eventually succumbed to uh, peer pressure and he came over and landed the fish for me, which I'm stoked about. Um, I've had all browns today until that, that fish there and I really wanted to get a rainbow out of this river. So that's my day made. We might be able to get a couple more. I'd say probably we will. We seem to be finding more numbers of fish in this kind of section of river. So hopefully that means we can get another one or two each. Anyway, that fish there just rocketed forward and ate a peacock pointer. No, not a peacock pointer. A little soft hackle from NZ Fishing Fries, anyway. Just with a little tungsten bead in it. Don't know what it's called. I'll, uh, I'll show it to you now. Yeah, so we ain't that. And I've caught a couple of fish on that fly now. I kind of like it. All right, then let's pack up and keep on trucking.
Long, no, no, he's still there. That's good. Oh, he moved. Did he move? It looked like he moved. Oh, you need to be heavier. Yeah, I'm heavier, Yep. That's good, Chris. Oh, oh, oh it's a great fish. do find a fish like that one there it's pretty switched on came back looked at the nymph and the dry and then out of here man the sun is brutal today savage it's just nowhere to get out of it and it's just constant hot just crazy how it can start off so cold in the mornings and then by lunchtime it's just sweltering so make sure you Check your sunscreen on people, cover up as best you can, because this stuff will fry you. Yep, nice. Good call, bro, good call. Size 18 pheasant tail. Just buried. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, bro. Good call, buddy. Good call, man. Oh, that's a cool looking fish. I'm gonna tell you. I ain't telling you. Tell me what happened. No. Tell them what happened. No. You tell them what you've done. You, you won't be, tell them what you've done. I didn't change my tippet all day, and guess what happened? Fucked <laughs> you off, did it? Yeah. Just being lazy. Just being lazy. Yeah, it happens. It happens yeah, to the best it, of us and the worst of us. Thinking I can play fish on two pound tippet. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out I can't. Turns out it can't be done. He's still there. I'm gonna, another, I'm gonna have another go at him. Yeah, it would be good. Because uh, you're so, probably gonna get that fly back from him because you didn't crush your barb. Yeah, right? I did that one more crash. Oh, that's good. You'll sleep well tonight. Nice one. Crush your barbs, people. Be like Dean. Crush your barbs.
people, we're done for the day. We're pulling the pin. It is 20 to 6. It's been a big day. Uh, but it's been a great day. You had a good day? Man, it's been great. It's a cool day. Warm, it's a cool day. No, no clouds or now and a few fish. What more could you ask for, man? Exactly. And it's a pretty cool place to fish. It's a beautiful valley. Fishing was not easy, but they gave up just enough to kind of keep you in the game. Probably like almost 50 50 rainbow brown, maybe yep. 60 40. 60 yep, yep. 40 rainbows yep. to browns. Well, we saw a few browns that were. That were a bit too cunning for us, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, but yeah, super cool place, super cool day. That light's terrible. Let's come around this way. Ah, that's better. Uh, I'd definitely come back here and fish again. Anyway, we're going to walk back to the truck. We've got a bit of a drive home and I can taste a beer. We're going to get up and we've got plans for tomorrow. So we'll be up and into it tomorrow, which will hopefully be next week's video. So make sure you tune in for that. I guess give me a thumbs up, drop your comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Say so see you later to Dean. See you, mate. See you, mate. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.